today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to react to some old footage of 1965 Bulgaria. That's what's coming up. Zdraveti Priateli, welcome to A Taste of Bulgaria, where I give you lifestyle and travel tips for Bulgaria. Today, like I said, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to react to an old footage of Bulgaria from 1965. But to do that, I'm going to need some help. I'm going to bring back an old companion from my first video. Welcome to Teenage Gareth. Hey to our fans of Taste of Bulgaria. And thanks for having me back, Gareth. What are we going to do today? Well, we're going to watch some old footage from 1965, old British footage of Bulgaria. Sounds good. Sound good? So let's get it started. Hey, it's an old video. Yeah, it is. I like the music. The sunny coast of the Mediterranean, certainly I think in them times, the British only knew about the Mediterranean. Yeah. It's roses, roses all the way. That's Bulgaria is famous for the rose, no? Happiness. They are famous, yeah. Why is he speaking with that funny accent? Yeah, because that's how people used to speak back then on the BBC. Oh, posh. Look, there's a crown uh -huh. of flowers for the village beauty who will be Rose Queen. They're crowning a queen here in this little village. She doesn't look happy about that. Yeah, she doesn't. Here's where they gather roses, and there are 15 billion Wow, 15 rose billion. That's, that's loads. Make a rose perfume famous throughout Look at the that world. beautiful nature. Don't let us spoil the romance of it with statistics, but for every gram of this attar of rose perfume distilled and captured, 27,000 roses must be One plucked. gram from 27,000 roses, that's crazy. The and simply squandered it they away really in fast the country at that. Air. Yeah, they are. You know, they're still collecting roses in them traditional dresses today. You got one of them dresses, haven't you? What are you trying to say? The Valley of Roses. There's no other rosy valley yeah, like this in the whole unique. wide world. It's unique. And yeah, the cash no, value of the aroma awesome. here in the air is over 40 million pounds yeah, a year. Yeah, from that 40 million, they didn't spend any but on the roads, did they? Yeah. There's a clue <laughs> yeah. in the writing, but we're not in Russia. That's yeah, because the alphabet's not Russian, it's Bulgarian. Yeah, they always think that it's Russia when they see Cyrillic. This is a land that symbolically lives on roses. On sunshine, on delicate crops, on subtle It's almost like making Here alcohol. they're distilling no? the perfume of the valley, which is worth in hard fashion. It's interesting. Yeah, it's really interesting. It's like alcohol. It's, it's like gold. the same way you make alcohol. But don't mention gold, because now we're in a monastery. And why you can't mention gold in a monastery? Yeah, it's a good question, that, actually. If you know the answer, why you shouldn't mention gold in a monastery, then please put it in the comments below. I'd love to know. Where can we be? There are a lot of monasteries here. There and is a lot of monasteries here. Though this is a communist country. This is Bulgaria. Bulgaria. A country on the Black Sea, the size of Ireland. I and didn't know it was the size of Ireland. Turkish domination. It yeah, was no, the monks that kept their national spirit and their. Wow, well, check that guy. He's got some skills. <laughs> Probably been practicing since his childhood. We've been to that one. We've not been to this monastery yet. This is the you know, these guys are the real heroes. Without them, Bulgaria just wouldn't be what it is today. Why is that? Yeah, because of the 500 years of the Turkish occupation. They were able to keep the culture, the religion, and all the traditions alive. Oh, yeah, real heroes. Hey, that guy looks happy with his produce, doesn't he? The fact that Bulgaria is what they call a socialist state makes it a surprise for us in the West to find that it's a rosy land of scent and honey and the luxuries of life. I don't understand life, why that's a surprise. Like strawberries which are exported from here to countries all over the continent. But we're beginning to learn some exciting things about little Bulgaria as she in turn is learning things about us. Why are them strawberries green? Yeah, after they will ripen up. Yeah. The simple life. The sort of hey, you know that simple life still exists in the villages today. Take me to the village then, as long as it's got internet. Ah, you kids in the internet. Hey, they're still using tractors like I've still seen tractors like that. Yeah, I've seen them. The new and the very old alongside, and that's very, very old. But in Bulgaria, yeah, young and old not usually helping each other anymore. You're approaching Sofia, the capital city, not four hours away from London. Hey, I've not been to Sofia yet. Yeah. We need to go there. We need to go. Well, we've been to the earth, who are seeking that's about that decimal it. difference, find difficult to resist. Join these miscellaneous modern wanderers and see if you share their amazement and their taste. 
Looks nice though. You should definitely go. Yeah, the trams are still the same. The trams are still the same. See communism. Not so bad. Look how good everybody's dressed. Hey, I'm also dressed good. You think you look good? What do you know, old man? <laughs> you see how we had to get that one in the <laughs> largely British built. Roses, roses everywhere on the boulevards. And handcraft pottery in the market. The really see, they're still doing that with the pottery and handmade things. They're still doing it today. Flowers mean as much to Bulgarians as patriots like Georgi They are very patriotic, yeah. Hey, check. Remember today with ceremonial guards, such as you used to see in Turnova, their old capital. Turnover. This is a beautiful. Imagine this, this is a beautiful city. Of a city built yeah, it's on three one of my favourite cities after Varna. The houses put their heads together over narrow streets, and the inhabitants closed their ranks. As now only holidaymakers do, marching out for a mountain oh, barbecue. Ma mountain barbecue sounds good. Nice old tourist there. What's that? It looks like Barnet. Yeah, it's some kind of pie or something. Here's Love it. Can you see how she was offering the alcohol first before the food? Hey, Bulgarian style. They know how to treat the guests. I like these Bulgarians. The most complimentary prelude to kebab in the open air. Just listen to the mountain music. Mmm, that meat looks so good. Hey, check this cheeky one. Yeah, she's very cheeky. Hey, wasn't that Zhivko from the ships? <laughs> yeah, he actually looks like him. Only thing missing is the corporate chef behind him. Only carry two plates! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Simplicity in the mountain foothills. Sumptuous luxury is the short drive away in the coastal resorts. Golden Sands, they call the beach where they built the Golden Sands Varna, yay! Yeah, but bad reputation nowadays. East and West meet here where 250 miles of sunshine shore have been developed Look at that camel trip down to the beach. The <laughs> yeah. Once they say you could stand at the bridge at Istanbul and if you waited long enough, meet everyone from everywhere that you'd ever know. Aha, uh -huh. see this Today, video is this why all the British start to go to Golden Sands. Now belong to a new discerning world, discerning world. of mm. in search of fun. Yeah, it's not popular anymore. I don't think them slides are working either, they look quite cool, eh? Hey, that's not like now. Past few summers we've been seeing a lot of rain. Yeah, it's been tropical this summer, yeah? Yeah, it's climate change, my friend. Climate change. Yeah, she's not Bulgarian for sure. No, no, probably Russian or something. <laughs> Some more Russians. On the coast, all way up in the hills, you eat the spicy foods and drink red kadaka wine, and you feel rosy. Rosy is the rose liqueur that they make red after they've wine. captured I've the first distillate of also. rose perfume back in that valley of yeah, roses. Definitely. From the billions of yeah, even petals, back then, the Bulgarian girls were beautiful, eh? Land. Hey, some of the most beautiful girls in the world, that's why we chose one, yeah? Yeah, true. true. Yeah, very happy people. dancey happy people. Well that was a really interesting video and I'm super happy that even back then in 1965 Bulgaria was being promoted in England. Yeah if you really enjoyed this video don't forget to smash that like button and if you've not seen Gareth promoting this beautiful country then I suggest that you subscribe hit that bell for notifications and you're not going to miss a video. Yeah thanks mate I think it's time you get off. No worries ciao. Yeah like he said if you want to see me promoting this beautiful country I reckon that you first check out this playlist here with my five minute city tours to get you started. I'm going to see you over there.